Rich Fam! Welcome back to another video! If you're new here, I'm Rich and welcome to my channel! For today's video, samahan niyo po ako as I give an honest review sa latest version ng isa sa mga cheap AirPods lookalike. And that is the... InPods Pro 4. So, let's go! Hi Rich Fam! Kamusta? I hope you're all doing well. First and foremost, I want to give a shout out to my friends at Tismosa. Uh, it's actually a cafe. They offer milk tea, fraps, smoothies, pizza, quesadillas, and marami pang iba. They even offer keto-friendly food and drinks just like this black tea with chia seeds. Anyway, let's start talking about the Impulse Pro 4. Um, I actually bought this in Shopee. Um, price nya at, uh, at the time when I bought it was only 195 pesos. But today I checked 198 pesos na siya, at least for the white color. It comes in two colors lang, which is white and black. The black is a little more expensive but 247 pesos. Um, of course, I use my Shopee vouchers and coins. So parang ang binayara ko na lang is less than 100. Because meron akong 50 pesos coins cashback. Uh, so it came like this. Sinabi naman din sa ad na wala siyang kasamang box or extra packaging. So that's okay for me. I, I, I actually don't need the box. So it will arrive like this guys. Ayan, simple lang talaga. Naka plastic. Well, double wrap. And uh, it also came with a free lanyard. Uh, they send out uh, random colors and it came with a manual a manual in Chinese and English at least <laughs> so there uh, the USB lightning cable and the InPods Pro 4 with a charging case. So, let me remove the plastic protector. So, medyo malit siya, no, guys. Compared to the uh, earlier version, or even the AirPods 1 and 2 from Apple, medyo malit itong charging case. Let me compare it to the AirPods Pro <laughs> charging case. So, Ganito yun, di ba? So, usually, yung AirPods 1 and 2 or InPods, yung mga latest, uh, I mean, yung mga early version ng InPods, parang medyo mahaba yun eh. So, as you can see, medyo malit itong InPods Pro 4. So, that's interesting. So, may, so maybe, mas maliit din yung uh, earbuds. So, let's check it. So, yeah. Wow. It feels nice, at least compared com, at least compared to the InPods Pro 3 that I bought, that I recently reviewed. This feels a little more premium. And yung mesh, yung mesh part, like this one, and even that one, ayan, meron siya talagang butas and mesh. So that, that's that's nice actually so let's go on to the full review the charging case is really handy meron siyang power button sa likod and USB lightning port at the bottom pag bukas mo ng charging case makikita mong securely in place ang bawat inputs dahil sa magnet Maganda rin yung build quality ng bawat inpads considering its price. Dahil sa iba, sticker lang yung design, pero dito, totoo may butas at may mesh or grills. Meron din siyang touch control, yun yung may groove na part sa hawakan. And you will also see two metal points for charging. Halos kasays din niya yung inpads Pro 3 or AirPods Pro, but without the in-ear extension. I can say that it doesn't look cheap. The cover also locks in place with a magnet and the hinge is really smooth. 
Pag niligay mo yung mga inpad sa loob ng charging case, the charging case will automatically charge it. It takes 30 minutes para ma-full charge ang bawat inpads. The green light means it's charging the inpads. Mamamatayan kapag fully charged na ang bawat inpads. The charging case will take an hour to be fully charged. The orange light will keep blinking while it's charging. Compared to ibang models, I don't see any red lights about in pods to indicate that they're still charging or tapos na silang mag-charge. The orange light will stop blinking once the charging case is fully charged. To pair it with your phone, just turn your Bluetooth on and just open the charging case and it will automatically connect. I am using an iPhone for this demo so you'll just have to wait for the pop-up. But if you're using an Android phone, just go to the other devices or available devices and click AirPods Pro and connect it. Now we can start using the inputs. As for the sound quality, I was also surprised na kahit pa paano ay maganda siya. Medyo mahina nga lang siya compared sa mga in-ear na earphones or earbuds. But the clarity is there and even the bass is really decent. But please take note that it is not an in-ear earphone or earbuds so greatly affected yung sound experience by your environment. Mic test, mic test. So now I'm using it to test the mic. So this is how the other person or the other people will hear you in case you're going to use it on a voice call, a video call, or even a Zoom meeting. But you know what, guys? Leave a comment below. <laughs> so there you have it, guys. The Inpads Pro 4. To be honest, I was really surprised at how good it is con considering the price. Dahil when I did all the tests, uh, itong mga itong mga inputs itself tumagal siya ng at least 3 3 or 3 and a half hours with continuous use and that was at 50 to 70 percent volume pero nung ginamit ko naman siya with full volume tumagal lang siya ng 2 and a half hours so that's still decent diba as for the sound quality uh, since hindi siya in-ear, as you can see with the design, hindi siya talaga in-ear. Uh, uh, I think I'll give the sound quality 8 out of 10 because kapag medyo you're in a loud environment or maingay sa paligid nyo, medyo may hirapan kang marinig yung pinapakinggan mo or yung pinapanood mong video. But sound quality wise, as in kapag tahimik naman at talagang napapakinggan mo siya, uh, maganda yung sound quality. Uh, malino naman yung mga bosses, whether it be sa songs or sa mga sinasabi ng mga actors or ng mga tao sa videos. And decent din naman yung bass. Well, it's not really that good but you know, it's there. So yeah, I think you'll enjoy listening to music and even watching videos as long as tahimik yung paligid nyo. Ang isa lang sa mga cons na nakita ko or na experience ko is that super sensitive siya. At least yung touch touch points niya. Uh, super sensitive. So if you're using it at nakahiga ka, konting tamaan lang siya ng pillow or kahit ng ano man, ayun, nagpo-pause na siya or even nag 
uh, it even turns off. So, ganun siya ka-sensitive. So, I don't suggest using it kapag nakahiga kayo or may nakasandal kayo sa window or kung saan man kasi talagang maaapektuhan yung paggamit nyo sa kanya dahil napaka-sensitive nitong uh, touch controls niya. Ang isa pa sa mga cons na masasabi ko is parang medyo madali siyang mahulog kasi unlike the AirPods Pro or the InPods Pro, um, in-ear siya. So, mas snug yung fit sa tenga. Uh, for this one, ayan o, oh, hindi siya snug fit. So, medyo maaari siyang mahulog if you're going to use it while jogging or, you know, doing any other strenuous stuff. Overall, I'll give this product a thumbs up, to be honest. It's probably like an 8 out of 10 overall. Because considering the price na parang almost 200 pesos lang, di ba? And with, in my case, na parang nakuha ko lang siya ng less than 100 pesos. I mean, that's a no-brainer. And the quality is there naman. But of course, you have to consider na hindi siya in-ear. At least for the design itself. But the sound quality is good. The mic is fairly decent. And the battery life is also good. So, you know, it's really useful at least. There you have it! I hope you enjoyed this video. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so you'll be updated on my future videos. Thank you guys for watching. Once again, it's your boy Rich, and I'll see you on the next video.